The Patreon request was, of course, the classic 2015 film, Be My Cat, a film for <laughs> Anne, as requested by mistake number 0802 on Discord. I guess I can uh, chat about this one here. I can I can give a cute little cheeky dangle summary of it. So, Be My Cat is a Romanian film about a guy who's really obsessed with Anne Hathaway, the chick who played uh, Catwoman in 1984's Batman film. So, uh, over the course of the movie, he's uh, trying to make himself a little movie that he can use to bribe uh, Anne Hathaway to come and uh, hang out in Romania with him so he can make a movie all about her. And in doing so, he recruits three women, three female actresses, to uh, star in his little film where he progressively goes insane and murders them. The end. Uh, my haiku as inspired by Be My Cat, a film for Anne. Tall Romanian, obsessed with bad Batman film. Learns to love at last. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I have a correction to make to Nico's dog shit summary. He says he progressively goes insane. He was already insane. He already yeah. had these plans. There's no progression. He was just planning on doing it. What do you mean he prog- He doesn't progressively do it? He says, I'm starting to become the character. Yeah, but I, th- I still think I think he, he was just getting into character. He was still planning on murdering these women. Yeah. <laughs> Um, honestly, I thought the performances were pretty good in this movie, guys. Oh, absolutely. I agree. The acting in this movie is literally the only thing that's good about it. It <laughs> is, like, it's it's too good because it makes you think like you're just actually watching some fucking found footage, which is exactly what a film like this should be trying to yeah. do. Um, yeah. Especially, like, the fucking girl at the end. Her body, um, her body language was fucking crazy on point. Mm-hmm. Um, it all just seemed incredibly realistic, uh, yeah. which is pretty incredible um yeah i was gonna say the ending just the entire part where you know you're watching her you, there's not a second where you are not fully invested in like damn how is she gonna get out of this and yeah. she's mm-hmm. like it's not unrealistic either anything she's saying and like um you know i'm sure stupid people would hear and they're like oh why is she like uh starting to agree with him or whatever but she plays it off perfectly we're like okay yeah she's doing whatever she can to try and trick this guy into letting her go Mm -hmm. uh do you guys think she gets away though um i'm gonna say yeah i think so i don't know why he had her go in the closet it kind of makes me think he was just like putting her there briefly to like fuck her with her or something but yeah i think she gets away why not i was so on edge (laughs) <laughs> the entire part where he's talking to her in the closet, I'm like, I was si- I was on the edge of my seat, ready for him to just, oh, and by the way, God, you know, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I I think she gets away as well. I I feel like you know he's a man of his word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And the- speaking of performances as well, the part where he's fucking murdering the second girl and she's like behind that sheet or whatever the fuck, uh, her screams are just, they're too real, man. They're, it's its yeah. too real. Yeah, it just, it just feels like you're watching a woman get tortured. <laughs> yeah, like it's-, it's, it's really rough. It, it made me very squeamish during that whole ass section. Yeah. Hey, this, this movie really is going to make us talk about what it means to be a movie. Um, <laughs> not even really specifically that, but just like how we rank movies um, will be very obvious after this one because this movie is going for something obviously I think it what it's going for it does very well But of course you have to argue about what if it's going for is like worth it Like if it's a valid reason for it to like have been made even because like if, if your goal is to make a movie about people Shitting on a table and that's what you do. It's an hour and a half of somebody shitting on a table um, and it's very convincing then you know, that's a fucking S plus tier movie there, maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this movie does what it's going for very well. But what it's going for is very uninteresting to me and boring. <laughs> um, like the first 50% of this movie, I was falling asleep. I was so fucking bored. It's so slow. And then what stuff I actually started getting interesting in like the last like third of it. Um, it was, it's still not very engaging for me. Like the acting was really good. I was interested in seeing this, if this girl's going to escape or not. Uh, but there wasn't a ton to grasp onto for me, unfortunately. Yeah, I, the the building tension throughout this movie is a slow burn, and I think it's too slow at that. And it, it does pitch the sort of like descent into madness that the character is experiencing. He goes on like this whole fucking rant where he's like, "Oh, I, I feel like I'm becoming the character now. Uh, me and the character, we we become one in the same at this point. I can't believe it. This is crazy." But like, I I never got the sense that he was all there to begin with, and that this is like some outlandish thing that's happening happening to him whatsoever and so it, it just didn't really do anything for me at all when he was going through all that shit well guys that's the review i'm glad we all <laughs> like this one blake watched it with us too and he was fucking falling asleep the entire movie um <laughs> yeah 
which was pretty funny. He was, he was fighting for his life to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, that show was funny. Uh, yeah, I agree with Jackson's point about the pacing issues. The the front half could... I mean, you know, uh, the, of course the thing is like, oh, does the front half have to be slow in order to build up to it? And, you know, maybe that's valid, but I, I was still like... <sighs> you know, mm-hmm. um... Are we going to get Dylan to, like, record his thoughts later? I I don't know if we will or not. If we did, they're going right here! Okay, so this is going to be my review of Be My Cat, a film for Anne. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect going into this movie. Um, and a lot of this movie, a lot of this movie is just a, a whole bunch of suspension of disbelief. Where it, it's always, like, a trippy thing to see, like, actors and actresses being actors and actresses in movies... Um, so it's kind of like, and it also helps that this is basically like a found footage because it's very clearly, you know, and shown off that, hey, this is my personal video camera. This is how things are going to be doing, uh, or this is how we're going to be doing things. Um, and for that reason, I think the acting was very well pulled off in this movie. Uh, but with like hardly anything else going for it, you know, I, I think the, the, the big positives here are. Uh, you know, the acting was really good with it being a quote unquote found footage film. It's really hard to pick at maybe cinema- cinematography and like lighting and all that stuff, effects or whatever you want to say. Um, I guess the only other thing I would say about this movie, um, well, it was also hard to watch just for, again, for suspension of disbelief moments, things that were happening, you know, this guy killing these girls, obviously it wasn't happening, but with the acting being the way it was and then being found footage it it was just a lot of uh a lot of things playing in its favor uh the only other thing about this movie though is it's really it's really slow and boring uh especially in the beginning at the latter half of this movie it gets a little bit better when like drama and all that stuff starts to rise but i mean it's just not my type of movie i didn't think it was horrible like there's obviously our list of movies that are just horrible and hard to watch this movie's just hard to watch because, again, it plays back into suspension of disbelief. But, yeah, I, I don't think this movie was terrible. It could have... I don't even know what to say about the pacing because I don't know how you pace these kinds of films better, these found footage types of films better. Um, but, yeah, overall, not a terrible movie. But who knows? I'm assuming maybe not. Kind of based, honestly. Yeah. You're assuming not? I don't think that's uh, the safest assumption. It's the assumption I'm making, though. I'm a betting man, Tanner. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But yeah, do we have any uh, further thoughts on this film at all? Um, what the fuck was up with the old dudes that came down to check on them, like, when the curtain was up and the girl was being tortured? And the guy's like, oh, yeah, we're just filming a horror movie. It's totally fine. And she's just screaming for help right there. I feel like it's a little un believable that was like i for the most part i feel like i was pretty immersed in the film um except for that point i just cannot believe that they would actually just be like oh yeah that's chill you're filming a horror movie for sure um while she's i think it's just trying to play credence to the fact that this is a really convincing guy given he was able to convince all these women to do this in a like especially like after the um the very first girl was killed right where um her whole shtick kind of confused me at the start because I didn't realize what the fuck was going on if she was like still acting or not when like she literally called the police on him and yeah. he was like following her. Was that actually part of it? I don't fucking know. Yeah, that um, part and- did confuse me as well because like, yeah, yeah, she does literally call the police and then like the yeah. next scene immediately after that, she's just, uh, you know, back to acting with him or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it seemed like she just wasn't vibing with being in the movie because the guy just was a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Um, and didn't really have a ton of direction, was insulting her. So she was just not down with it. And then we see that play out. And then right after, she's just like right back helping him out. Um, which I, I don't know. Was it all just acting? I don't fucking know. They're just too good. I can't tell the difference or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there were some suspension of disbelief moments that were kind of stupid that took me out of it. I feel like this would have been a stronger movie if it was more consistently immersive for me and not really fucking boring at the start. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I guess for me, the immersion wasn't too big of an issue because I did feel sufficiently immersed throughout the whole thing. Because the way in which they're like, you know, shooting as a sort of fan footage thing does make it feel really raw and it adds this like sort of like air of authenticity to it as well. And so, you know, that part at the very least uh, did help me, you know, feel like I was right along with them. I, like I was actually just watching some fucking like snuff footage of some psycho over in Romania who's uh, actually trying to convince Anne Hathaway to come to Romania to star in a film with him. <laughs> On to the rankings. <laughs> so, Tanner, what do you think you're going to be ranking this one? Shockingly enough, you know, it's a personal flaw for me, but I am a sucker for a strong ending. Yeah. Uh, and I gave this one an A-. minus. Whoa. That's not too terribly far off from Dylan, who gave it a B. I, on the other hand, I... Uh... It's a weird one, to be it's sure. It's a really weird one. I... I don't think I can go nearly that high on it because there there are just some pretty rough lows for it. So I think I'm gonna give it a C plus. Yeah, I am substantially lower than any of you guys. I give it a D. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. I, I, I was bored out of my fucking seat for <laughs> most of it. Um, there was a bunch of disbelief issues, and I thought this ending was strong, but that was all the movie really had going for it for me. To be honest, I didn't really have a ton else. Like, yeah, the poor performances are good, but that didn't give me a ton to really latch on to. I thought it was still really just fucking super boring. Um, and that lands it at a B minus overall. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, it's like I was like 6'7", by the way. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah dude was a, dude was a giant. 